So I am really hard on frames. Uh, I have been beating this Tiny Hawk Freestyle up every day for, well, months at this point, and it is constantly in the shop. I'm constantly working on it. Not because there's any problem with the uh, quad itself, but because I fly in the simulator so often that I forget there's no reset button uh, in the real thing. And so I just, I full send every time I go to fly and every time I break it. Uh, so in an effort to stop wasting time, money, and resources on, uh, on replacement frames, I thought maybe I could figure out a way to splint the uh, splint a frame or or repair it better than I have been. Um, I'll show you what I typically have been doing. One of these frames has been repaired, not that one. Is it this one? Yeah, this one. What I've done is uh, I put CA glue or super glue into the cracks here where it flexes, and I get some glue down in those cracks, and then I take it over to the vise and. Uh, and pinch it between a couple pieces of parchment paper and a nice solid uh, wood blocks. And that holds pretty well. I have noticed though that uh, you wanna, because generally the, the arms will break in the up direction. If you're putting a replacement frame on, you wanna put it so that the, the strongest dimension is, uh, uh, is, is holding uh, holding it from being bent up. So I feel that it's stiffer this way than it is this way. After, whoops. Well, there you go. See, it's not very stiff, but had pressure put this way is not, is not as bad. See, that's already failed. Um, and that's a really good example of why, why I was seeking an alternative, uh, method for fixing these. So what did I do? Well, I wanted to splint it. I thought that might be a good, uh, method. So I thought about taking a, a toothpick, just a regular old wooden toothpick and gluing either side, doing the, 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 the glue trick and maybe even wrapping that with something tape or whatever to see if that would stiffen up these broken frames and let me get a few more batteries out of them, a few more days maybe. But uh, that seemed a bit janky and honestly, it was gonna take a long time to do that and I'm lazy. So what did I do? Well, I started looking at these frames realizing that I have three good arms on all of these frames. Uh, and I thought maybe I could just take one arm off and then splint it to the bottom of this, uh, giving it the strength of a new arm without getting all of the weight of a full frame on the bottom or uh, without having to spend an hour or a half an hour uh, uh, replacing a bottom plate. So what does it look like? Here you go. There's a splint. All I did was I took, uh, I took this broken frame, which actually had a couple of broken arms on it, and I got after it with the Dremel, and I cut off uh, this one arm. One important thing is the, the, the way that I've made this easy is by avoiding glue uh, altogether. This is strictly a bolt-on solution. I mean, I guess I could glue it, but I don't see a need. I bolted this on. I found some bolts that were slightly, slightly longer uh, than the stock bolts, even at the motor here. I, uh, I stuck this on here and it is absolutely perfect. It's stiff, but it's not too stiff. It's, uh, you know, it roughly mimics the stiffness of a stock frame. As I've left this uh, unrepaired, I had previously glued this, but then it broke again. So I've left it unrepaired and it's got just enough give that I feel like it's going to protect the motor and the electronics inside uh, and not transfer those forces all the way up into here. So it feels like a really nice uh, solution, and I have taken it out. I beat it up with uh, five batteries the other day, and it flew beautifully. Uh, overall weight gain by putting on the extended uh, bolts and uh, the splint is two grams. So here we go. I've got a, uh, a couple of roughed out pieces that are going to pop right in and be arms. What's great is they're universal for uh, the front, or if you cut a back arm, 
I don't know. Do they work for the back? Yeah, they still work for the back. I can pretty much use these anywhere. I'm going to take these to the sink uh, and just do a bit of filing. Get these nice and smoothed out. Make them pretty like this one. And there you have it. We got splints galore. Ready to go. Every time I break an arm, boom, new splint. Now, obviously, I can't just keep doing this indefinitely, but at least for the time being, I'm going to be able to stretch these frames out for a few more batteries, get myself a few more flights in before I have to do repairs, which for me, that's huge.